Me, myself, and I. Ever wondered if you are in a partnership or a one-person show? Today I'm going to be delving into a topic that many of you have actually requested. It's how to deal with a selfish partner or a person as well because it can be interchanged. And I'm also going to share with you three practical ways to help you navigate through it. Hi. If you are new to me, I'm Teresa Young, Relationship Master Coach, and welcome to Real Relationship Talk. Now, before I get into the nitty gritty, let's distinguish between what self-love is and selfishness. Because self-love is all about appreciating yourself. It's about caring for yourself, nurturing yourself in a healthy way. On the flip side, selfishness stems from somebody who has a lack of consideration for another person's needs and feelings and it's really important to understand the difference between the two as we navigate through the challenges of dealing with a selfish partner or person one of the top reasons why people can appear to be selfish is because it's rooted in fear or insecurity and they may be prioritizing their needs as a defense mechanism and it's important to understand that because when we can see it for possibly being that then we are able to understand whether it's actually some emotional struggles that is causing that person to be selfish or perceived as being selfish also another factor is to consider any external influences because there can be societal pressure there can be past experiences and even people around them that influence their behaviors and contributes to them having this self-centered dynamic and mindset about themselves also an important thing to ponder is a little bit of self self-reflection some introspection and the reason why I say that is because sometimes it could be just simply because their behaviours aren't aligned with our core values. And that you just don't understand why they do the things that they do. Because, for example, if you have a core value and that person's behaviours doesn't align with it, then we can label that person as being selfish just simply because it doesn't resonate with us. So it's really important to reflect upon whether there is any conflict between your values and your partner's values or the other person's values. Because when we can understand that there could be some scope and some room for understanding and also for some compromise and collaboration there. So that self-reflection is absolutely crucial. So now I'm going to get into the three ways to deal with a selfish partner slash person. Now, the first thing you can do is to have open communication because having open communication is the cornerstone of a healthy relationship. One crucial element to include in these conversations is to address any observed patterns in that person's behaviour. So, for example, have you noticed a recurring theme around their self-centred actions? or a consistent lack of consideration. When you can bring these patterns, these observed patterns to a person's attention, you are able to get to the root cause and you can work together and find a solution together. Because sometimes people might not have an idea that it is recurring, but if you can identify a pattern and say, well, it actually has happened on this occasion, it's happened on that occasion, so, I'm not just bringing it up because I'm nagging or nitpicking, for example, it has happened several times. That person also has the opportunity to reflect upon that. Now, also, part of that communication is expressing your feelings, your needs and your boundaries in a calm and assertive way. I completely appreciate that their perceived selfish behaviour might be quite activating. And it actually might be quite triggering to you, particularly if it's been something that has happened over time. So taking a step back to cultivate some empathy and understanding can be transformative to improving the dynamics of that relationship. So what that means is considering the underlying factors that might contribute to their behaviours. 
So what past challenges or what past experiences might they have faced that is influencing that behaviour, that is influencing their thoughts, that is influencing their emotions? Empathy doesn't mean that you are justifying their actions, but it can open the door to what can be a more compassionate and collaborative approach going forward. So just take stock. As if you were in their shoes, how would you behave? Perhaps you might behave differently, but equally, it's just about maybe putting yourself in their shoes to, to empathise that there could be some past traumas as well, some past experiences that make them act in perceived selfish ways. Remember to also create that safe space for your partner or for that person to communicate back and to share their perspective too because communication is a two-way street and sometimes when we're so fired up we would just launch, launch and just verbally vomit on somebody so to speak but allow that space for them to be able to communicate back because that can lay the foundation for progress towards a healthy resolution. Now the second thing that you can do in order to deal with a selfish person is to encourage mutual growth. So what does that look like? Because when you can encourage mutual growth, it's a powerful way to address selfishness in any relationship. So instead of framing it as a problem to be solved, view it as an opportunity for both of you to grow and evolve together. So what that could also look like is sharing some personal goals some shared goals, find common ground that really allows you both to be able to pursue aspirations together and also independently and support each other along that journey. See whether your independent goals are also supportive of the relationship. Mutual growth can also help because it's that jointed approach, isn't it? Selfish seems to be very isolated, whereas when you can join up, it's collaborative. So mutual growth can be so powerful. And last but not least, the third thing that you can do in order to deal with a selfish person is to establish positive reinforcement through appreciation. Especially if that person or your partner has made the effort to change their ways. When your partner or the person exhibits unselfish actions, acknowledge it. Acknowledge their positive behaviour and express your gratitude. And this is not the time to have the attitude of, oh, well, it's about time they did it, or oh, they should have been doing it anyway. Because that kind of attitude is not going to foster a healthy relationship if you want improvements about also changing your attitude and your mindset around it too. So showing gratitude and appreciation for it gives them that positive reinforcement. And we as humans love positive reinforcement reinforcement because what that can do is motivate us to do it again. Do you remember as a child when you were told that you've done a good job, thumbs up, you were like, I'm going to do it again. I really want to make that person proud again. I'm going to do it again because I want to be rewarded. So having that verbal appreciation can really help somebody to keep making positive choices when it comes to their relationships and when it comes to their behaviours and their actions. So there you have it. Three ways to help you deal with a selfish person. I hope you found this video helpful because I know it can be challenging. However, when you implement those three steps, it can really help to foster a relationship where there is togetherness and both of you are on the same journey together in partnership. If you have found this video helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up, give it a like, show it some love. And I've shared some insights today and I would love to hear from you. Could you share your experiences and your thoughts in the comment section below? That would be absolutely amazing. How have you dealt with a selfish person? Have you been called selfish yourself? Let's share. And if you would like a private session with me to delve more deeply into some of these factors, if you're having challenges when it comes to self-love, self-care and also in your relationships, you can reach out to me directly. You can visit my website www.tarishayoung.com or feel free to private message me on social media. I can be found as Teresha Young. Again, I am Teresha, your relationship master coach and always remember that love is your essence, confidence 
is your superpower and you are the bold navigator of your extraordinary journey of love, life and relationships. Until the next video, take great care of yourself and others too.